Hey guys, Snoopy here. So season three has just started and I'm getting a bunch of questions on how I, I already have two sets from PP, which I do have. How my eye level is almost 480. I actually could be 480 right now, but there's one thing I'm holding back on, which I'm going to explain in this video. But yeah, it could be 480 right now if I wanted to. And just kind of how to get ahead in the season, what to do week one. It can be quite confusing. So in this video, I'm going to break it all down step by step on exactly what you should do in week one of season three PP to get the best season possible early on. So... Let's dive into it. All right, so we're going to be starting off with the basics. So the first thing you want to do in the Season 3 is head over to Celtrex and buy a full set of 476 Honor Gear. By the way, it is green, which is kind of weird. Uh, it should probably be blue. Uh, but yeah, so the Honor Gear is green. Don't let that uh, twist your mind because it did for me a bit. I was like, what's going on here? Uh, but yeah, Honor Gear is green, 476. A full set costs about 12,000 Honor. Uh, if you don't have the Honor for Honor already... I recommend just doing some Blitz. It's really quick games. Gives great honor. Also, will give you some Conquest. And it's also good fun. But, of course, you can do any PP at the front of the honor. But, yeah. So, first thing. Head here. Buy a full set of honor gear. And that's going to get you nice uh, for the start. 476 eye level. But now, on to a few more things you want to do to get the purples. And even some blues that actually could be better stats. Even though they might be slightly lower eye level. So now, after getting the honor gear, head over to the quest givers in the same room. Pick up your Sparks of Life quest. You can kind of do this whenever. I kind of prefer just doing it while you're doing 2s, Arena, RBGs, whatever it is. Just pick up the quest and get it done while you're doing other activities. And then also, you probably want to grab the Proving Teamwork quest, even though it's an RBG. These will give you half a Spark of Dream, which is what you need to craft the gear. So that definitely comes in handy. Those can also drop from just doing Arena. For me, I actually dropped for my very first game of the season. I got a half a Spark. And then uh, you can actually do that. Then head over to the Emerald Dream. And you'll talk to Lady Moonberry right here. Hand her the spark. She's going to give you two back. And then you have two. And then you can craft one whole spark of dreams. And this is needed to craft the gear. But yeah, I'm going to show that in a little bit after this. First though, you want to kind of also keep in mind that some specs want to use Bloody Token gear still on certain pieces. For example, as a Feral Druid, I kind of prefer having the Verse Mastery. On my weapon as opposed to the crit verse from the honor weapon even though it's three eye levels less so just keep in mind even though the honor gear is higher eye level it might not be better uh, for every single piece but yeah now i'm gonna show you guys how to get the crafted piece uh, so you definitely want that it's very nice to have the embellishments early on and uh yeah let's just dive into it so now that you have your spark or dream there's one more thing missing from, from being able to craft an item in high eye level and that is the trophies of conquest so these are dropped from a chest that you get from doing any PP, really. Just queue a game, get a chest, open it, and that will contain like a quest item. Click that, he's going to go over to the to the vendor again, and he's going to give you these trophies. Not, so now you have the trophies and the spark of dreams. It's going to figure out whatever item that you want to make for your class. So this will depend, of course, on your spec. For me, as a Feral Druid, I opted for the in Infurious Foot Wraps of Indemnity first, and I made them, you see here, 489. Uh, so yeah, just go ahead and make that as one purple to check off the list early on and probably want to get like a nice embellishment this one because you know so far you probably have zero embellishments and as we know they are quite powerful. So just get that one and craft it and you're good to go. So the thing I've been getting asked the most by far is how I already have two pieces of tier set. It's really huge for some specs, but Feral is absolutely massive. It's basically like a per about 10% damage increase in PP or at least close to it. So yeah. How do you get two, two tear pieces? And it's probably more simple than you might think, at least if you don't know the trick. The trick. Uh, and that is, the first one is very obvious. It's just buy uh, 700 conquests. But what you might not know is that they made it so now we can actually craft or convert a piece of gear tear set in week number one. So just buy your piece. For me, it was the gloves. I bought the gloves. You come up right here to uh, the Catalyst place in Th Thaldrasis. It's right above Turhold. You see like a big entrance in the mountain. And just go over there, put your piece up, convert it to tear, and there you go. That is number one uh, tear set. I kind of recommend just spamming two, like low CR, two to arena, whatever it might be. But you can do RBG, you can do even blitz. You can do any PvP really that's going to give you conquest and just farm that conquest down. And then, yeah, just convert that to tear set. Now, to the second piece that I think is a bit more mysterious for people. So let's dive into it. Okay, so for the second piece of tier set, again, two set is important. Like, one piece won't do much. Two set will do a lot for a bunch of classes. You really, really want it. And what you got to do is just get 1,600 rating in 2v2 or any bracket for that matter. 
Uh, you can see the achievement right here. I'm going to show it. It is called Dragonfly Season 3 Master. Very similar to what they had last season. Basically the exact same thing. Just a new season. And you can get it from either doing a Heroic Raid, Challenger 2 MPP, or Dragonfly Keystone. Is it Keystone Master, I think? So yeah, probably the easiest and fastest way is doing it in PP. And yeah, getting 1600 uh, will give you this kind of token. And you will go to this guy right here. His name is Theos. Uh, Theos Kaklos. I can't really read, but something like that. Uh, you get an Emerald Mark of Mastery. And just make sure, guys, this is very important. Buy the right piece of gear. It's very easy to buy the heroic version, the PvE version, and then that's not going to scale up in PvP. So yeah, do not make make that mistake. I know it's happened to a bunch of people, especially last season. Uh, so yeah, just make sure, guys, you double check, triple check that you're getting the right one. Uh, for me, I actually went, went for the boots, or I mean the legs. So keep in mind, you get like a free piece there. Uh, legs are worth more, I think 875 conquest, while like shoulders and, and gloves are only worth 700. So you can try to think like get a uh, expensive piece there because it's going to be the same uh, cost for you here no matter what. I went for the legs as a Feral Druid and that right there guys did complete my two sets. Now as you can see it's really really strong. 10% damage in PvP, 20 PvE uh, on my Frenzies, uh, on all my abilities after using Frenzy. And yes, that is how I got my two sets. I just played like Disc Feral and, and also some Red Feral. Queued about 33 games. We got it done. Uh, but yeah, now onto the rest of the video and like how to really make sure you get all the things you got to do in week one checked out. Okay, so now for the final part of the video, and that's going to be regarding Trophy of Strife and like Spark of Life. So yeah, first things first, get your Spark of Life quest done. Hopefully you're doing it while you know you're doing 2v2, 3v3, RBGs. Whatever you've done to cap, you can just kind of farm that as you're doing that. Or you can just do it afterwards. That's also all good. Uh, you know, do your bounties, do the royal quest, gonna speed it up a bit. But yeah, basically, once that has been done, you will have eight trophy of strife. So with this, you could go ahead instantly just buy gear and get to like 480 eye level. But yes, I also did spend some conquest on my neck, so I bought you know conquest uh, gloves and neck. Keep that in mind. That's where my neck is from. But yeah, that's uh, b beside the point. Uh, so yeah, with the trophy of strife, you could just buy a piece of gear, a good piece of gear. And get to about 478 eye level or 480 eye level rather but this is kind of where your game plan for gearing really kicks into effect because if you buy something this week you're not going to get weapon this week or next week if you're not going to vault it what i'm doing is i'm not going to spend my trophy strife this week so worst case which is the most likely case i don't vault the weapon next week i can just buy it with the, with the, the trophy strife and a few bloody tokens right here. Also has verse mastery, so great staff for Eldred. Uh, so yeah, that is my plan. Optimal, of course, you do vault. You can kind of just keep waiting and like hoping for the vault and keep saving your trophy of strife if you really want that vault weapon. I think some specs want the vault weapon or the congress weapon like a lot more than others. So just kind of, you know, keep that in mind. It might depend on your spec, how important it is. Uh, but yeah, you try to like map out a plan. Uh, again, my plan as a Feral Druid, as I know a lot of you guys are Feral Druids out there, is to kind of do what we've done so far in this video, but save up Trophy of Strife and have that as a backup plan if we don't end up vaulting the weapon. And uh, yeah, guys, that's actually it for this video. Hopefully you find it helpful. Leave a like and subscribe if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in my stream or the next video. You guys, wait, one more thing before we end the video. I just want to do a burst test kind of with my new gear, with this eye level, with the Terror Set, kind of see how much damage i can actually do so let's try that real quick like one incarn so you see my dps meter down here and uh let's dive into it so i'm gonna open up do my rotation keep in mind we are playing the big bite build i'm gonna apply a rip for for, for full bleeds taste of blood value reproc the bt here and just keep sending those crazy bites as you can see they're doing a lot if you want to like reproc your tier sets you're just gonna have to cast a cyclone Get a free frenzy and then bite again. That free frenzy will trigger your tear set. Tires free still extended because of raging fury. And yeah, as you can see, it's a lot of damage. Actually, not one bite crit, but 275k non crit on a PP dummy. So not bad. But yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching the video. And I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>